Steve Kershaw and Ryan Charwood from pole position needed to make a fist of it, and they certainly did. They could not afford to give anything to anyone into Redgate, and they led the race from there. Chased by Lewis Blackstock and Paddy Rosney with the Christies, threatened initially by the Laidlow brothers, but the Christies, once they slotted into third, the world-class standard of these Grand Prix riders came into its own. Tim Reeves and Mark Wilkes unable to continue. The Hawkswell pairing, sadly, retirees as well. But Sam and Tom Christie, and uh, there was a bit of a moment there for Rob Biggs and George Holden as George Holden went across the gravel, scattering stones all over the place. Time after time after time, we thought Lewis Blackstock was going to take a lunge going into the S's. But when it happened, it happened down towards the Melbourne Loop. They kept the pressure on, though, and Kershaw defending, went in a little bit hot, a bit too deep, left the door wide open, through went Blackstock and Christie. Kershaw relegated to third from then on in. All they had to do at the front was hold it together and get it over the line, and that's what they did. Lewis Blackstock and Paddy Rosney, Sam and Tom Christie, but what a victory, and I, for one, should not be partisan, but I'm delighted for those boys.